All right, so let me show you how you can add an Afterpay to your Shopify website. Requirements is you need to have a valid business in order to get verified in Afterpay. Um, we already registered the business of my friend in Afterpay and it's all good. So what we're going to do is basically for every product pages is there's like a budget for the Afterpay and maybe also in the cart as well because um, yeah, for CRO wise, we wanted to have the consumer have more option in purchasing the garments so obviously you need to log into your shopify website and you need to have a verified afterpay account as a merchant so i'm going to continue there and then once you're ready log into your shopify website simply go into the settings option located underneath of your shopify page and then go into the payment section so under the payment section you should able to add your bank statement and if the client or the consumer wanted to purchase via paypal or afterpay um there like you can add that as well so you're not just limited to the paypal and afterpay there's also other payment channel as well and where did i get this afterpay we already by the way link the afterpay but like if you haven't done it yet just simply click on add payment method and then search on the afterpay word Okay, so again, we're not just limited to Afterpay. There's a lot of payment options in here. So for Philippines, it's Gcash and the list goes on. Now back to the um, to the Shopify website. Um, once you're ready, link your Afterpay account or Afterpay merchant um, ID. And by the way, when you're registering your Afterpay merchant, once you get verified, you'll get have a merchant ID and a secret key that you need to fill in into your Afterpay. Right, so you just need to link your Afterpay. You should be good to go. Then once um, there's also an option to use a plugin in Shopify. It's called On Page. Let's just type in Afterpay. This one, um, On Page. This one, Afterpay on site um, messaging. For some reason, others are experiencing problem with this. So if my if you ask, like if you install this and then you're having a problem in Afterpay, you can also use the other way around. But let's just follow this instruction. It's super basic. So you click on the settings option. And by the way, I'm going to give you the other option as well, um, which a bit like has a longer code than this. So let's just follow this first. So you need to go in to your online settings and then you um, need to look for your activated theme. So we use origin and then you just need to click on the edit code option. And then in the instruction, you need to look for the footer that liquid. So let's use that search bar and look for the footer that liquid. Inside that, you will see the liquid syntaxes. Like it's basically a like an HTML with a um, reserve keywords that is so-called liquid. So this is like the templating language of Shopify. And yeah, you just need, it says in here, that under the footer that liquid um, your theme doesn't include the file then click the theme so we actually if the theme doesn't have a footer that liquid then you can add that into your theme dot liquid all of the theme has a theme that liquid but in our case we already have a um, footer that liquid if you don't have a footer that liquid just look for the theme dot liquid again all of the Shopify theme has that so let's go back to the footer that liquid and then follow the instruction it says find the following code that has shop enabled payment types i'm going to copy that because usually if you're going to copy everything i don't think it's going to be it's going to give you a result yeah it's not going to give you a result so we'll just look for the um shop dot enable search so this one so here's the code for it's for type shop that enable so what it says in here is you just need to replace that for type enable with this code. So I'm going to copy that over and paste and then save. Basically, actually, when you um, like here, it's just like removing the shop dot. It's like a concatenation um, and adding that shop into like the shop should be enable payment methods types. So um so we already save it and then once done let's see so 
So find a theme, find the code. So I think what it's only giving this option is when you add to cart and you click on the checkout, it's give you the after pay option. Okay, let me let me just double check it. I'm gonna replace it again. I'm gonna revert this back again to a normal um, payment option. Let's see if we can still see the after pay. If not, then I think it's only applicable for the checkout. So I'm gonna click that. Oh, it still have it. I see it's more on the footer side. It doesn't really give us that option though. So with this one. So if I'm going to add it back. Let's just follow this instruction in here. So it has this after pay over here in the cart section. But it doesn't really give us the... Like it's only available in a checkout. Yeah. So like if you go into the cart. Our cart looks like this, but if we go into the word cart, we should be redirected to the shopping cart. But in most cases, our visitors cannot see this, especially if you're using the hanging or the floating cart. And it's also not, um, it's not so user friendly if you use the traditional cart. So I think this one, I don't really, it's too basic for me for the afterpay. So let's say we're gonna add this afterpay in here. And let's save it. Okay. It has the afterpay option. And if you go into the cart, let me add random pick um products. And let's go to the cart. It has an, an afterpay in the footer side, but what we actually want is having an afterpay in the product pages. We don't really, I mean, I, I, this won't gonna benefit us though. Um, but the good thing is in the checkout option is it also allow you, the consumer already allow um, to use afterpay. Okay, but we want it to be SRO fr CRO friendly. So I'm gonna look for the afterpay documentation. So on afterpay manual payment. Um, no, afterpay manual code um, Shopify. Let's see. Okay. Let's see the documentation in here. And there, I really like their documentation. It's super straightforward. If, even though you're not a programmer, you can easily work this out. So what it says in here, in the Afterpay messages, you need to add the following code into your theme that HTML. So we wanted to have this, basically this kind of like option in our product pages. Like here, we wanna add a budget there. In most cases, um, consumer, we're gonna look for the product or the individual products than the footer or the card. So we want to have this option. So what it says in here, basically, is you need okay the following positions in the site messaging onto the product and card pages on Shopify website. So we can copy everything, all of this. And if you don't, if you think that like the you know there's a lot of comment section that you really don't need so you can feel free to remove all of these grid icons if you want um we can copy paste that and then what it says in here is you need to go again to the theme and look for the theme dot liquid so let's go back to the online store and go to these three dots click on edit code and look for theme dot liquid and then you scroll down at the bottom part um it should be after the closing html we we'll paste that. You can always remove this if you want to, but for some cases, if you want to, you know, add more um, logical condition to these afterpay messages, then you can use these variables as your basis. So I'm gonna click save there, 
and then we hit save. Okay, let's just go back here. So, okay, so once it's already added into the um, liquid depth footer, I don't really need the. I think this is already good. Let me just let me just check it in incognito mode and click that. Okay, cool. So we already have this after pay um, on like on site messages. This is what we want. Um, and there's also other documentation in here. If you really want to, you know, highlight the after pay that we are um, highlight the after pay, then you can also add the after pay into your cart section. So at the moment, it's still not showing. It needs to you need to refresh the cache. So af at the moment, um, it has an afterpay in, in the product page, but you click on add to cart, there's no afterpay in here. If you really want to be, you know, super, you really want to highlight afterpay, there's also other code in here that you can paste into your theme that liquid. So what it says in here is you need to, um, yeah, so to add a messaging to the dynamic or drawer cart, um, follow all the configuration what's the configuration here okay so what it says is you need to follow you need to add this code first to your um, themes that liquid and then on the um, theme that liquid so after you paste the code into your theme that liquid what they're saying is you need to enable so that's the reason what I told you like if because this one has a corresponding you know feature so if you want to enable the cart then you can always uncheck or uncomment these variables. So let's just find the afterpay cart integration. So that one, so you need to enable that. Afterpay cart selector and absorber target as well. Saved. And if we open again the website, and try to check out oh, it's still not showing let me see okay let's use other variable let's use the other it's already saved right so it should be good to go Okay. Let's see. It might be a caching problem. Let's see the um, Mozilla. Okay. It's not working. So you probably need, because this is using, um, like cart drawers item, so you need to check the variables. So I'm not gonna be covering this um, tutorial at the moment, but if you want me to create a tutorial, if you want me to check on, you know, what is a variable corresponding to this cart, then let me know, comment down below, and we'll make sure to put in or embed the afterpay into the floating cart. And hopefully you're liking this video. If you have any question, or if you need help with your Shopify website, feel free to leave me a message or book a consultation. I'm gonna put the link below, by the way. Thank you and have a great day.